Now probably the most interesting France jersey that I have is this one from 2010. It was only worn against Uruguay in their opener. First of all, it's a long sleeve and this is a player issue, but it's not the one with the weird bra features. This was the one for players that don't like to have this. And ahead of the World Cup, I saw this is said this is one of the two nicest jerseys at that particular World Cup. The other one being the one that won it all. This one actually was for a team that exited infamy. Now, what I like about it is the pinstriping. This is clearly inspired by the 1982 jersey. And this was the last away jersey that France produced, uh, that Adidas produced for France. Yeah. So for that reason, I think they wanted to kind of say, yeah, see how, what classy jerseys we can do. By that time, they also made a switch to kind of more navy. So you see here the navy blue color and kind of oddly they added the gold outline. Again, I thought this is to kind of emphasize how what a nice partnership Adidas and France had before they switched over to Nike. You had the new federation uh, crest, which I actually like a lot. It's not as great as, no, you don't see it, they, that they use since 2014. This one is gorgeous. This one is absolutely gorgeous, but this one is really nice. I like how it kind of connects all the different lines to make a rooster. Um, and this one is printed on. This was, I think, one of the first times that Adidas printed uh, the logos on to reduce the um, um, weight on the player also on the inside you don't feel you just feel that it's there uh, same thing here for the adidas logo which is, has a slightly thicker texture uh, due to it printed being printed on of course you see the line running through the logo that's a little bit of a faux pas in my in my opinion then on, on the inside you have here this weird little patch uh yeah i think it looks okay but it's still weird that they have it in there and then most notably the three stripes here this this is not fabric this is also just tape on there then you have to house the logos and then again taped all the way down to the uh sleeve cuff which has a very weird shape it is not one it's just going so uh, the fabric goes extends much further on the top and much less on the bottom and now the interesting thing since those here are kind of uh, glued glued on uh the fabric with the pinstriping continues and if you look on the inside you can actually see that on the middle red strap there is they hide the blue strap so that's actually quite some nice nice manufacturing you have some ventilation here under the arms and yeah the back Looks pretty much the same as the front design-wise, which is always a nice thing. And then you have here the nice script. I really love this one on the back. This was also the first time that this became popular to really have something here on the back. Something special too. I really think this is a very, very nice jersey. Unfortunately, it lives on in infamy. Maybe uh, you could have done away with the gold because it becomes maybe a tad too colorful with it. but. I really think this is this is great. This looks great. I love to wear this one. Uh, I love also the long sleeve because this gives me the chance to wear soccer, uh, soccer jerseys when it's a little bit colder. Although nowadays I probably mostly wear um, hockey jerseys. But yeah, this has a nice fit. It's not this tight fit that Adidas wanted for most jerseys, which is fine by me. I really like it and it has material. It's very close to the replica material, but it has just these uh, special features. So this is the type of um, player jersey that I love to wear. But um, this was not sold in stores. You only got it with this weird, uh, almost bra-like looking thing, especially on the back. This one is nice. So I was very happy to get this. I got it from Classic Football Shirts. Um, they had a sale and it was relatively cheap and I'm very happy to have a true player issue for us jersey. Also the ventilation here in the back, I mean those were the weird patches. Well, so far so good. Let me know what you think about this particular France jersey. Um, 
it's bittersweet. Not only was the team bad, but also it was the last for Adidas. And I think they really did a great one here. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.